Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and I'm going to show you some of the basic functions of using the TI-83 and 84 family of graphing calculators, and what I show you today will also be true of the TI-82. It's just the basic stuff to review you or to show you for the first time. Look at problem number one. We're going to add 14 plus negative 67. Okay, watch up here. This will show you your keystrokes, and down here you'll be able to see what I'm doing here on the calculator. So I'm going to say 1, 4, plus. I'm not going to bother with the parentheses because I don't really need to. To say negative 67, I do not hit the minus key. I hit the negative sign. Negative 67. And we don't have an equal sign, so I hit Enter. And there's the answer, negative 53. Number two, we're going to add two negative integers, negative 72 and negative 54. So I'll say negative 7, 2 plus negative 5, 4. Enter. Okay, now you, you can see the answer there, negative 126. I can also see that I better hit clear every time because these keystrokes, something that you normally won't see, um, will get all muddled up here. So I'm going to hit clear on the keystrokes and clear on the screen so we can start all over again. Number three is a subtraction problem. We're going to hit the subtract key and the negative key. Here we go. We've got negative 19 minus negative 22. Okay, notice on your calculator that the minus sign, the subtraction sign, is a little bit longer than the negative sign. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and the answer is 3 and I'm going to hit, well, I'm going to hit clear first, then I'm going to hit clear the key presses. You can always replay anything on this video. All right, now, the instructions for number four say reduce rational numbers to lowest terms. Um, our wonderful calculator will do that for us. Now, the way you get a fraction bar is you hit the division sign. So 52 minus, no, no, divide by 1, 1, 7. There we go. Instead of hitting enter, I'm going to push the math button right there. And then notice that frac for fraction is highlighted. So I'm just going to hit enter and enter again. And here's your answer, 4 ninths. 4 ninths is, if you reduce, 52 and, and 117, this is the fraction you'll get. In fact, um, the TI graphing calculator will always give you your fractions in lowest terms, so you don't have to worry about it. Now next, we're being asked to express the decimal, this decimal, as a fraction and to simplify. Simplify means to write the number in lowest terms. So I'm going to say 0 0.824, and you really don't need the 0. You could have just said 0.824. Math, enter, enter, and there's our answer. 0.824, if you turn it into a fraction, is really 103 over 125. Okay, clear. And hit in clear key presses. Now I'm going to multiply two fractions. 5 divided by 9 is 5 ninths, and then I'm going to push the multiply key, and then 2 divided by 3, oh, I almost hit enter, I would have gotten an ugly decimal there. But don't worry, we can still hit math, 
enter, enter, and we get 10 27ths. You didn't have to hit enter after the numbers. You could have just said math, enter, enter, and that would have given you frac. Okay, clear, clear key presses. Now I'm going to multiply one-third by negative eight. I'm going to say one divided by three times negative eight. Enter. Oh, I forgot we're going for a fraction. Yes, we are. We need a fraction. So I'll say math, enter, enter, not a problem at all. Our answer is negative eight thirds. Now for number eight, I'm going to multiply these two fractions. Notice I'm not putting in the parentheses because I don't have to. We are about to have to in number nine. We don't have any choice. We're going to have to use uh, parentheses. But right now, I don't have to use parentheses, so I'm not using them. But you can. So let us clear and clear key presses and I'm going to go ahead and use parentheses here not because I have to but just because they're being used and I want you to see where the parentheses are. So left parenthesis is right here above the 8 key. I'm going to push left parenthesis 1 whoops 1 divided by 3 right parenthesis and then when you're using parentheses like this, you don't have to hit the multiplication sign because the calculator knows that two parentheses next to each other means you're multiplying. Two sets of parentheses next to each other means you're multiplying. So parentheses, negative one divided by 21, parentheses closed. Now I'm going to enter. Uh, and I need to math frac this because look, we're supposed to give fraction answers. So math, enter, enter. I keep forgetting that. But notice it's never too late to go back and uh, get your fraction. You can always math frac even after you hit enter. Okay, clear and clear key presses. Now, when you divide fractions, you must put parentheses around the first and the second fraction. Here's what I'm going to do. You do it too. Left parenthesis, 7 divided by 17, close parenthesis, divide, left parenthesis, 1 divided by 2, right parenthesis. And each one of these keystrokes is absolutely necessary. Again, you can always replay the video. You can even uh, go back a little bit if you want to. Okay, now I'm going to hit, no, I'm not going to hit enter. It's not going to fool me this time. I'm going to push math, enter, enter. Well, okay, the calculator's not fooling me. I'm just making a mistake. That's right. I was double checking to make sure that's the right answer. It is. Okay, so now you see how to do that. And again, you can rerun this uh, uh, video to see what the keystrokes are. So I'm going to clear and hit clear, cle bah, clear key press. Now, I'm going to add two fractions, and we need to have a fraction answer. Typically, a good rule to follow is when you start with a decimal, you, excuse me, can end with a decimal unless you're being asked to give a fraction. But if you're starting with fractions, you need to give a fraction answer. We're going to add these two fractions. Eight divided by nine, plus 6 divided by, ah, 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 I messed that up, didn't I? Clear key press. Let's try again. 8 divided by 9 plus 
6 divided by 11. There now. And I'm going to math frac this. Math, enter, enter. There we go. There's our answer. Okay, so your calculator can take a lot of the pain out of remembering all those rules of integers and having to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. None of this has to be as scary as it used to be. When we start um, graphing, you'll have how to use the graphing calculator, a basic use of that. Okay, bye-bye.